This is, yeah, unfortunately sad, but we do have some important news to share with our community. So Atheist Republic mourns the loss of leader Linda Tilly. Linda Tilly, a pioneering champion of human rights within the Atheist Republic community in Africa, has sadly passed away. Holding a leading role in the Atheist Republic's consulate in Durban, South Africa, Tilly's activism has spanned over a decade. Widely respected for her fierce dedication, she was affectionately dubbed Mama Kilele, or which loosely translates to vociferous or outspoken woman in Swahili. Among her numerous accomplishments, Linda notably advocated for the rights of refugees in Kenya's uh, Kakuma camp and passionately championed water accessibility projects in South Africa. As an atheist, she sought to counter superstitions with science and reason while promoting secularism and tolerance. Mubarak Bala, the imprisoned Nigerian atheist, whom Linda ardently supported during his unlawful detention in Nigeria, wrote movingly of her, quote, she seemed more passionate than other Africans about Africa. She saw a future bright and promising for Africa to sort its many problems and stand tall in the community of nations. Her legacy is a testament to her indomitable spirit and enduring dedication to human rights and secularism across Africa. Um, so yeah, this is, this is a massive loss, not only to Atheist Republic, but to the humanist and atheist community of Africa in general, because, um, well, I didn't know Linda very closely personally. I, I followed her activity on social media and I was always blown away and impressed by the energy of her activism. I mean, she fought for Mubarak Bala possibly harder than anyone I've I've seen do so publicly. She was tireless in her effort to fight for Mubarak Bala's release. Um and um I mean her 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 passion and her humanism extended far beyond the rights of atheists. It, she was a pan-Africanist and really believed in the positive force of Africa. And in a memorial that someone wrote for her that I read, they included one for quotes, which is basically that, you know, people sometimes criticize me for being too positive about Africa. And she said, but I do... I'm paraphrasing, right? She's saying, but I do see that there's so much to be positive about. There is so much to love. There is so much to be optimistic about. And um, she she was fierce and put her energy into her work above so ev- everything else in her life. And it in it in it came at a cost to other things in her life, but that was the strength of her conviction. And, um, incredibly, incredibly selfless and motivated. And, um, I know that the news of her death was beyond shocking to our members in Africa, our communities in Africa, and the, those close to her. Um, it it blindsided is an understatement. Um, and so I know that there are a lot of people really grieving in our community um, because uh, as um, Dean, the leader of our South African community at large, um, said in a memorial video that he made for her on the Atheist Republic Cape Town channel. Um, she had become our our touch point, our resource for everything Africa. You know, it extended far beyond one region and it, it extended far beyond her own country. Um, and um, her her loss is going to be uh, very. It's going to be felt and it's going to be remembered for a long time. Um, so I wanted to make sure that we take a moment to remember um her legacy remember what she stood for 
and um, not forget the causes that motivated her to um, give up resources and time and energy for herself, um, but instead give it back to other people. So we've included, we wrote a full in memoriam for Linda on our um, website. And in uh, you can learn more about her life and her extensive activism. Um, I also included a video the Dean made of his memorial of her. And then also an interview that Dean did with Linda on this um, Atheist Republic um, Cape Town channel. So if you'd like to see Linda, um, you know, speak and talk about her interests and knowledge and passions, um, from herself. I think it'd be wonderful. Um, if you went and watched that to remember her. And Dean also told me that Linda would hate to be identified as a leader because of how selfless she was. And it, might be against her wishes, but I think she deserves to be recognized for the beacon that she was for other people. Um, Denisha is saying, we have to keep moving to see her goals fulfill. She was a gem to the secular movement in Africa. I really like this way, uh, this attitude Denisha has. Like when we, you know, when we see somebody so valuable, we lose them. It's, it's good to celebrate their life to, you know, we, it's a loss, but you also have to celebrate the part of the, you know, the living part, right. But also try to motivate us to see the, the, the work that they were doing to continue. I, I really, Denisha, that's a beautiful way to look at a situation like this. Thank you for that. And Zaid is saying she will be remembered. Linda was an amazing individual. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Brother Sid is saying something here. I don't know if it's okay. I want to respond to that because it's disgusting. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. All right. So uh, Brother Sid is saying, we Christians are not like worldly people. When someone dies, we don't mourn them, but sh uh, shout for joy that they are in heaven with, with Yeshua and Yahweh. This. Thank you so much, Brother Sid, for being here and showing to us what a disgusting ideology you have. Thank you so much for the reminder. By, by the way, guys, worldly people means people that celebrate life because what they call worldly is all we have. It's this world, it's the living world. Uh, what they consider to be other than worldly is death. They celebrate death. We celebrate, remember this. That's what they're saying. This is why I tell you that Abrahamic religions like Christianity, it's a death cult. World, they say worldly as a way to dismiss, to put down what we, what we fight for, which is life. Worldly means life. And they, are, they celebrate a shadowy uh, uh, world that they made up, uh, uh, an imaginary world, a fake world. That's what they focus on. We focus on the only chance that we get for happiness. They, they celebrate a lie and they, they shout for joy. Look at this. When someone dies, they shout for joy. When I tell you that Christianity celebrates death, I'm not kidding. They celebrate people dying. Imagine what an insane ideology you must have that you celebrate people losing their life. Again, remember, life is all we have. And when we lose it, they see that as a win. They see that as some, a, a, a an upgrade. There, there is no way to make an ideology more dangerous than to make uh, life seem insignificant. It's the best way to corrupt a, uh, an entire people, uh, an entire uh, mindset of a of a population of people. Right, and look at how they see themselves with, with this disgusting ideology that they have. Look how they see themselves better than us. You know, and this is worldly, the morality. You are worldly yes. people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you, Brother Sid, for showing us 
how disgusting and evil Christianity is. We need it. I, I, I always take advantage of that reminder. So thank you for that. Do you know who makes the most amazing, gorgeous, and other adjectives that I can't use here on YouTube blasphemous art ever? We do. And for some reason, we are giving it away for free. Download them now using the link in the description before we change our mind.